Aquarius, this is your 11th uh, to the 13th of October weekend love read. I have been AWOL. Yes, I'm very sorry. Um, I'm back now, but I will only be doing express readings for the next, let's say, week and a half. So this weekend, the weeklies and next weekend will all be express reads. I'm hoping we'll get back to normal after that. We can go back to our usual read spread. Um, but if you find that these messages resonate with you or you like hanging out, don't forget to like and subscribe. Uh, let's get started though with your love readings, okay? Love readings, please, for my Aquarius people. 11 to the 13th. Oh, there's secrets coming out for you, Aquarius. Interesting. So there were secrets coming out for Libra too. So if you're dealing with a Libra, I recommend that you go and listen to that one as well. I might actually, after this reading, after this reading, I'll put it in the end credits. So in um, the end screen, you'll be able to just click straight onto it. Mm, yes, because someone is backing away. Now I feel like this could be you if it is Libra that you're dealing with, um, just because they might be a bit vicious this weekend. But you're definitely keeping your distance now, not putting any work into it. Okay. All right, let's see what this is about. What is the moon in reverse about, please? Oh, my hands are cold. Okay, so... Absolutely, if you're dealing with a Libra or someone who has Libra in their chart, please, please, please go and read it because one of the things, that, the, the secrets that are going to come out are like nasty truths, but they're not said in a truthful way that is actually helpful. They're said in a kind of like a cutting way that, yeah, there might be some truth to it, but that's not the purpose of telling you. So there's an element of exaggeration or falseness if that makes sense so uh that's what's coming out it looks like seven of pentacles in reverse please and i feel like these are going to come out as part of an argument that's going to happen so for an example someone might say well i've always hated the fact that you or i've always hated all of your family members or i've always hated the fact that you never do this for me or whatever it's something that they've been keeping to themselves um that may or may not be true and sorry you've got three of cups on the seven of pentacles so it could be that you're kind of withdrawing um, from any social stuff as well. You're just keeping your distance from going out, doing anything silly, um, which is good. You're not doing the overindulgence, so you're not going out partying. You're just kind of keeping your distance from all of that stuff. Okay. Yeah, because you want to go in and you want to offer love. Okay have to give this to you straight i do believe that this is actually you aquarius wanting to make a love offer but it's kind of on the basis that you just you just want to avoid the pain of the ending not so much that you actually want to be with this person again um i think that you need to maybe consider why you really want to make a love offer and you know what for some of you you absolutely want to be with this person and you realize that they're the one but for some others of you you're kind of like I said making this offer because you're a little bit lonely um, and you kind of just don't want that feeling anymore you don't like that being that breakup feeling you know that I, don't, I just don't want to be here on my own. I don't want to go to movies on my own. I don't want to go to breakfast on my own, all that sort of stuff. Um, but I kind of feel like as well, you really know that there's no more work to be put in this. Like you guys have done everything you possibly can here. So three of pentacles in reverse, please. Yeah, and you, you know that in an amicable way as well. Like this Five of Swords is an amicable ending, basically. You're trying to um, 
it's like an agreement like yeah I, we really love each other and we really care about about each other and we wish it could work but we're just not compatible or we just fight too much or we just live too far away or whatever it is that's stopping you from being together it's this agreement that we can't keep putting work into this so I do feel like you're there and that's where you've been but now suddenly you're like oh it's really happening I think I want them I think I want them back um when really that might not be truly what you want let's see what the overall outcome is please for Aquarius for this weekend most likely outcome for Aquarius this weekend please Oh, Hierophant. Okay. <laughs> I very rarely go, ooh, Hierophant. But I think that it's because even though you guys are, are in agreement that maybe this can't work forever, you're probably going to try and give it one more shot here, it looks like. Yeah, because you kind of, it's almost like, take one more yeah. not like that I shouldn't laugh it's not funny yep okay so this is exactly this repeated basically there's going to be some discussion about whether or not you should, guys should get back together or stay together because you don't want to feel like this anymore you literally, you want to be in this Five of Cups in reverse. You don't want to be in this upright Five of Cups. So one of both of you is offering this cup of love so that you don't have to feel like this anymore. Um, is that the right reason to do this? I'm not sure. But judgment is in reverse on the bottom of the deck, which may indicate that it could be poor judgment to go forward with this. Okay. Let's see what the advice is, though. Maybe that was just by chance. Maybe all this is just by chance. What advice have we got, please, for Aquarius? So Aquarius, you could be dealing, you do have the King and Queen of Cups on the table. Good sign, very good omen a lot of the time. You could be dealing with a Taurus. You could be dealing with any water sign. You could be dealing with a Scorpio. Could be dealing with a Pisces, okay? Yeah, you want to hold on so badly to this relationship. But what else have they got to say? Okay, that's why I said what else have they got to say. Because they're saying you're holding on to something that is never going to be what you want it to be. So for it to be what you want it to be, this card has to be in the upright. This is a soulmate card. So your soulmate is actually out there. And for as long as you're holding on to this non-soulmate, your, your actual soulmate can't actually come in. So you're holding on to something that can never be everything that you deserve, basically. I hate to be the bearer of bad news, Aquarius. I'm so sorry. So they're not even saying advice. They're just saying, look, for as long as you keep holding on to this, you, have, you only have two hands. You can only carry your cup or your pentacle with two hands. So if you want to grab another cup or pentacle that's more suited to you, you have to put one of them down. Okay? You can't hold. They're too heavy for you to hold one in each hand. That's why they juggle. That's why the juggler juggles. Because you can't hold one in one hand each. Okay? No, oh, I kid you not. <laughs> That is actually amazing. Thank you to my spirit guide who is obviously right on point with me. You can't hold one pentacle in one hand. As I just said, you will end up juggling, okay? So it's saying to you, there's something better out there for you. Don't just hold on to this because it feels bad right this moment. You will get through it. And then when you do, your pen, you'll, be out, you'll have room to hold your real pentacle. I can't even believe that happened. That's actually hilarious. All right, let's get your romance card. Okay, I'm just going to... Pausing for the ambulance, sorry. Okay, so romance card for Aquarius, please. I can't believe that juggler. Wow. Healing family issues. So your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. So... 
Okay, so this might be down to what are called attachment issues. So sometimes uh, in your young formative years, without giving you a psychology lesson, um, influences, particularly parents and family life, can it can um, change how we attach to other people and that's where we get this codependency thing happening so it could be that you need to work through some of that codependency so that you don't keep going back to people that are bad for you you can put them down and know in yourself and have the confidence in yourself to know you know what there's something better for me and i don't need to be with someone to feel fulfilled okay that won't be for all of you but that's definitely the message for some of you Okay, Aquarius, that's all I've got for you this weekend. Thank you so much for your patience. I'm sorry that I was gone for so long, um, and I'm very glad to be back. Please like and subscribe uh, using the buttons below, and leave me a comment. Let me know what's happening here. I'd really love to know. Talk to you soon. Bye.